hello there. And here I am, right here, making a video in front of you, person who's sitting in their chair, probably eating Cheetos and barely watching this video. They probably, you probably have like another tab up, not even watching me, but I'm still going to talk to you anyway, because I don't care. So here I am, with my face and my beautiful nose and my mouth and my eyes and the ears. I'm going to use all of these things to make this video and present it to you. I mean, if you don't like my face, then it's just kind of awkward for all of us involved right now. Because now I have to go through the entire video with you not liking my face, but whatever. Anyway, I kind of want to talk about conversations. Because, I don't know. Just, I've been, like, getting more social with people lately. And I've been talking more to people that I don't usually talk to. And one thing I... Well, of course this happens with everyone, but more, like, it happens a lot with me, but I, like, the stuff that I think about in my head is just so far out there, I guess you could say, and I didn't realize how far out there and, like, weird and how much I got into, like, certain interests that no one else would really get into, and if it was something that someone else got into, then I, they wouldn't be into it as much as I am, like, I'd go, I'd really get into stuff as if, like, I'm it's my major in college or something. But it's it's just weird. Like, I notice that I'm, it's weird because when I actually talk to other people, it's like when I say stuff that I'm interested in, then it's just like I'm speaking a foreign language to them. Like, if I just started saying random words like pancake, butterfly, peanut butter gun, then that would make more sense than the stuff I actually am, like, passionate about. But it's weird, like, talking to people because, like, you have to go up to some random person you don't know, like, if you're in a situation, if you're in, like, some social situation where you have to sit near that person, or you just don't want to sit there looking at their face the whole time, or just staring at the wall, and I know mo today most people have cell phones, so they actually have the convenience of getting away from that awkward situation and pretending like you're texting someone or flipping through Facebook, but right now I don't have a cell phone, so I actually have to talk to people like they did in the 90s without cell phones or texting but it's weird because you just go up to a person and you start saying stuff you don't care about you ask about stuff you, that's just like whatever to you like you ask about their job and, and their life and what's going on in their day but it's I don't know you just kind of go through all the BS and it takes forever to get to the actual interesting stuff and I don't know, sometimes you don't even get there, because they're, like, you, they're, the stuff that you want to talk about, you can't really just throw out there in the middle of the, in the at the beginning of the conversation, because it's just awkward, and that person is just going to be like, what? And then walk away from you like you're some kind of weirdo, but you just have to build up to it, and the build up is just so annoying, because it's, you just pretend like you're interested. I mean, that's not with everyone, like, not everyone in the world, I just sit there, and, and I'm completely bored. There are, like, a rare handful of people that, like, from the beginning of the conversation, I'm interested in what they're saying, but most of the time it's just whatever. You just let people say stuff. And, I don't know. It's like you both know it's weird, and both know that, like, you don't really care about what they're saying, but it's just the normal stuff you have to get through first in order to get to the actual stuff you want to talk about, which is weird, because you should be able to say stuff that interests you, and the other person should listen and be like, oh, yeah, and whatever. I don't know. Conversation is not... I didn't get an A in conversation class in school. During that course, I was kind of not conversating and failing it, so... I don't know, it might be different with, mo with most people, I guess it's okay, because when I watch other people have conversations, they look like they're really interested in their, you know, they enjoy it completely, but with me, it's just like I'm just kind of thinking about other stuff for a really long time, until like a couple of years into the conversation, someone pops up something that really interests me, and I'm just like, whoa, I can actually, you know, throw in some, some detail and knowledge on this subject instead of just nodding my head and saying, uh-huh, double time. But whatever. I don't know. Meeting people is weird. Every, it's always weird meeting people because it's just some random person in the world that you've never talked to or said anything to or seen. You have no idea. You, have no, you know nothing about this person. You just gotta say, just throw out 
just throw out random subjects or anything until there's something that catches. It's really hard for me to find that one person where you can just immediately just start talking about something that you love. And whenever I find that person, it's really rare when that comes up, and whenever I do find that person, I just want to talk to them forever and get inside their head and explore like Indiana Jones. Um, by the way, yeah, I did say that I don't have I don't have a cell phone anymore, so I can't like jump to that whenever I'm in social spots and it's get, it gets awkward. I can't jump to Facebook or anything, but I will tell you, not having a cell phone is the weirdest thing. Like I don't even know how people before texting actually functioned. Like I don't know. I just go out and I just don't know what to do with myself. I just, I just like if I'm at a restaurant with people and everyone's on their phone, I'm just kind of sitting there. You know, rubbing the wall or something, or doing something weird. Like I don't know how to function. My body just automatically functions in weird ways. Like I just start doing jack jumping jacks on top of the table, and people are like, "Why are you doing jumping jacks on top of the table?" And I'm like, "Well, I don't know. My body, there's no cell phone on my hand, so I don't know how to function. So I'm just doing random things. So strange world we live in. We rely on cell phones for almost everything. We don't even realize how much we rely on technology, but." It's a lot. Like once you get it taken away from you, it's just it, you, you just don't know who you are anymore. You don't know what to do. You don't know how to think, and it's really it's kind of sad actually. It's just people don't really know how to think as much as like some people. It's important for people to just kind of every once in a while just kind of sit and stare at the wall and think about life because you can't just always have your cell phone providing information for you. Every once in a while, like even when I have my, I do use my laptop a lot, even when I'm on that, every once in a while I'll just stop and then walk, pace around my room just thinking about everything. Just like after I've taken in so much knowledge, you just need a moment for your brain to just kind of configure it all together and put, take it all in. So yeah, cell phones are unhealthy. I mean they're useful, they're good in emergencies and they're good in certain situations and that's what they're made for. It makes easier to connect with a lot of people, but we rely too much on it. But I do need a cell phone. It's kind of weird not having one. And there's, it's kind of, it slows me down a bit in certain, like when trying to contact the people. When trying to contact people. I don't know. See, if I had a cell phone, I wouldn't have licked that Pokemon card. It's a struggle, man. A real struggle. Okay, so one thing that's been getting on my nerves lately is those posts on Facebook and Tumblr that are that just say, only 90s kids will remember this, you know, have like a picture or something from the 90s, like a show or some toy or something. But it's so annoying to me. Every five seconds I see that post and it's like, okay, we get it, the 90s were cool, get over it. You don't like today. It, it, it's, it gets annoying, even though I'm a 90s kid, it gets annoying just to hear someone just shoving the 90s in my face all the time, and I hate it. And it's, uh, I don't know. At first I thought it was cool. It's like, oh, nostalgia, uh, I remember that thing. It's, yeah, but now it's just, it's really stupid. There's actually, the stuff they post is actually really stupid. Like, they'll put like a picture of like, a VHS inside a VCR, like a tape in a VCR, and it's, they always say like, oh, it's so sad that, that kids that are not born in the 90s will never know what this is, and it's like, uh, just because they're young doesn't mean they're retarded, I'm pretty sure they know what a VHS is. In the 2000s, people were still using their VCRs, like, it, it's not like it died off like 50 years ago, it's something that recently went off, it's just so, I don't know, if, I guess you assume that no one has, anyone born within the 2000s has no knowledge of anything that happened before the 2000s, before 2000s or in the 90s. Kind of makes me wish I didn't live in the 90s. I love that time period, but it's the past, so we don't need to keep bringing it up today. Be proud of the present that you're in right now. And keep thinking about stuff that's ahead of you. Think about the future. Don't keep thinking about the past. Because then if you keep thinking about the past, then the present's going to suck more. So...